So you might be wanting to go ahead and clear the cache and or cookies on your iPhone. Now what does this mean? Well these are pretty much just temporary saved files on your iPhone that you may want to go ahead and remove. Now at a base high level, if you're using something like Safari or Chrome, there are built-in settings to remove these. So for Safari and basically any other application you're using for your iPhone, what you can always do is you can make your way over to your iPhone settings. You can scroll down until you get into Safari, which is all the way down over here. And what you can do from here is you can go and click on the Safari, so we're right here. You then you can go and scroll down until you see clear all history and website data. Now when you click this, you'll basically be able to see that it'll go ahead and remove history, cookies, and other you know browsing data. So if you're using and this is what you want to do, all you have to do is go and click clear your history and website data, and that will go ahead and clear it out for you. Now let's say for example, maybe you didn't want to do that. Well, if you want to clear cookies or cache and any other application, the baseline way to do this is to go through, find the application you want to go, get into the settings, and find the clear cache or clear cookies option. If it's enabled and if it's there, you should be able to do it here. So in this case, what we can do, in this case, we'll just pretty much use Snapchat. It's a very basic application that most people use. If we go and log in, you should be able to find some sort of way to get into the settings. So on Snapchat, it's up here. You can click settings. And once you're in the settings, there should be an option that says clear cache or clear cookies or something along those lines. And here, if we scroll all the way down, we can see we have the option of clearing cache. It's 149 megabytes, which is actually a lot. So if you go and click here, you can see we have the ability of clearing all cache. So I can go ahead and clear all the cache here, and that'll do it for me. So it really just depends on which application. So that's Snapchat, Instagram, all these other apps have different ways of doing it. But if you had a high level, you just want to do it from your iPhone settings. You can do it within Safari. But if there's any other application you want to do it from, there should be some built-in settings there. So that is pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.